What's up my garden friends? It's Christy here with GreenLivingOffGrid.com and today I'm going to talk about how you can split your double seeded Rockwell cubes into two separate plants. So here are my spinaches that are, are growing in my little hydroponic trays and I want to show you something. I put a couple seeds in my Rockwell cubes because I was having difficulty getting them to sprout. So as you can see, I have two seeds that are sprouting in these Rockwell cubes and some of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to split out the plants carefully by cutting the Rockwell cubes apart very gently to see if we can separate the root systems of each of the plants and then place them in my other tray where I have a couple holes um, open for some new plants. So here we go. Let's try this. So here's one of the Rockwell cubes where we have two plants in it. And I've carefully cut down at the bottom really near where I could see the roots were coming out. I don't know if you can see this real well. As you can see, I have roots coming out the bottom, so I very carefully cut the Rockwell cube gently on the other side, making it split apart. And now we can see the two root systems of the plants. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to take this upper layer right here of the Rockwell cube out very gently, leaving the other, the bottom root system for the other plant below without damaging the roots of the system. Let's see how this goes. So here I've gently pulled one plant root system and all apart from the other plant. Now it doesn't always work that they survive this ordeal. Occasionally the root system gets too damaged in the process of splitting it. And if that's the case, usually if I have several duplicate plants I can usually pull another plant and try to do this with it. So I try to do this with the plants when they're really young before the roots get too far developed. I wouldn't let them wait any longer than this size when you try to split them. And then what I will do is I will watch them for the next three days. If they're going to survive, they will be a, they will perk up. They'll usually kind of loop over for a couple days while they recover from the surgery, I'll call it that. But if they're going to survive, they'll perk back up. But if not, you'll know within a week if your plants are going to survive the surgery. But it is a nice way to not just snip off the second plant and, and lose that. Um, you can, if you have some Rockwell cubes that didn't sprout up and you had a couple that had duplicates, you can try to split them. And that's how I do it, to try to, to minimize the damage to the roots and get a chance of, of possibly getting two full plants out of these um, duplicate seeded Rockwall cubes and I'll show you what I usually do once I split them I'll take you know a half of another Rockwell cube and I will place this around that plant so it becomes its own little little uh, support system and I'll put that in a in one of my net pots with some uh, hydrogen to hold the Rockwell cube together just make sure that before you put this other half of this other Rockwell cube that I cut apart to do this, you want to make sure it's wet so that, like the rest of them. Here's one of my plants that I've tried to split and salvage. And as you can see there, you can see the Rockwell cube is supported together, pushed together by the hydrogen that I have around it. And when I set that plant in there, so you can see I have a root dangling out the bottom. You want to make sure the roots are not bound up inside the net pot, but that you carefully work them through and down through the net pot so that the plant has the best chance of reestablishing itself in this new Rockwell cube net pot um, combination here. Now I'm going to go put it in one of my trays that has an open hole for a plant.
Thanks again for watching. If you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at greenlivingoffgrid.com.